en action. This episode of Are Delicious is brought to you with the support of our patrons. Rose, Donna en Ralph, Robert, Rick Conley en Lisa Rose. Get your ticket on the Penelope bus today by visiting patreon.com slash or visiting our website www.arvelicious.com Hop in babe, we're going. Woohoo! Today we're going to talk to you about why we're not on welfare. <laughs> well, that's simple. When you uh, live in a van, you cannot even get it. But if we could get it, would we get it? Mm, no, probably not. Because there are too many rules and, 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 and obligations. To, it's very uh, dehumanizing what they want you to do. It's uh, almost like slave labor. Modern slave labor, it is. Yes, a lot of people think welfare in the Netherlands is free money from the government. No. Taken by, from the taxpayers to give to the unemployed. And a lot of people think, well, it's free money, you don't have to do anything in return, but actually you do yes and you sign over to yes. get the money and it's like thousand bucks a month and to get that you need to sign a contract with the government basically uh, a contract of the devil where you sign away your own uh, yes. control over your life yes. to in the hands of some unexperienced usually uh, yeah case manager who yes. basically gets to tell you uh, what you what you will have to do every day of the month, every month, hmm. what you have to do. Yes. As, um, All in the name of the participation law, as it is called. Yes. They, <laughs> uh, they say, okay, you want this money, then it's only fair that you do something in return. Yes, basically and that is that true. Is, that is true. It we sounds, agree on that. It sounds very reasonable, but... And politics, they will tell you, like the Prime Minister uh, was uh, recorded on television saying, well, if you just do some volunteer work in return, then we are very grateful and you're paying uh, your, your, your tributes back to society. Mm. And we already did that by working. Uh, if, when we worked, we paid taxes, so our money yes. went to other unemployed people. So mm -hmm. then you think when you get unemployed, yeah. you get the same treatment. Courtesy. So in the politics, they on the television, they make you believe that just pouring coffee to little old ladies is enough for volunteer work. Mm -hmm. And then uh, if you come there with your list of volunteer work that you actually can do from the volunteer work sites uh, mm -hmm. and say, look, I found like 20 volunteer jobs I can fill in, yep. then the case manager says, no, you cannot do that yeah, because you have to do what I want you mm -hmm. to do. And what yes. he wants or she wants you to do is never what you want to do. It's the opposite of what you want to do. Because their job is to get you out of the system as fast as possible. Mm -hmm. So they can say that less people are unemployed. And if they have to make your life a living hell and miserable to get you out of the system, yep. then they will do that. Mm -hmm. There's no equality. You, you, you're treated like nope. it's your fault that you lost your job. It's your fault that you're yes. unemployed. Suddenly you're lacking arms and legs and speech and yes. sight and vision and <laughs> hearing 
and they basically say uh, yeah. you're a lump of clay you're a toddler yep. we're gonna have to teach you everything because you're a worthless piece of human and that's yes. basically how it is mm -hmm. and what the what what bothered us about it is that yeah you sign away for a mere a measly thousand bucks mm -hmm. you give somebody so big of control on your life that it makes you yourself uh yeah feel depressed and miserable exactly how they want you to feel mm -hmm. so um yep. it adds a lot of stress to your life and your quality of life gets reduced enormously mm -hmm. so we were always asking ourselves the question is that worth it is it worth the thousand bucks that you're getting that hardly pays for your rent and groceries nope. is that worth being treated worse than yeah, a slave yeah. yeah being treated like an animal being treated like a toddler um, is it worth that to you and for some people if you mm -hmm. have people who say well that thousand bucks I have so little education and qualities in life that I have no skills I can that thousand bucks is the highest money income I can get those people they're willing to be treated inhumanely and miserably and they they don't mind it because it's for them it's the highest achievable goal mm -hmm. and i'm like if i have a good job i can earn thousand bucks in a day so uh for me and for petra being both highly educated and skilled um that's not the highest achievable uh income that we can have it's basically um a, a big reason for us to say we rather feel happy and mm -hmm. are in charge of our own lives and and have not somebody uh, breathing in your ear or you're down your neck constantly telling you what you should do we rather fill in the day for ourselves because we have plenty of things to do yep. and um, and we hope that by doing the things that we like and that we love like making the YouTube videos and, and spending a lot of time with that and traveling and creating mm -hmm. digital stuff uh, photos and, and ebooks mm -hmm. and magazine we hope that we can earn an income that way and uh, for us to not be on welfare means to have freedom and control of our own lives yes. and you don't want to be because in welfare that case manager can say i don't like i don't like you you didn't try hard enough this month or this day i'm gonna mm -hmm. take away your welfare money they can do that they can take it away for yes. three months or longer and it doesn't and matter what you do if you're too loud they say uh, it shouldn't be so loud. When you do quiet, if you're so quiet. And if you do, they doesn't matter what you do. They always find something to nag about. Yes, you're right. Mm -hmm. Yes. Yeah. So it's a lose lose situation every time. Yeah, you have basically have two kinds of welfare. You have the nice welfare because. For every month that you every year that you work in eh, from your 18 if you work from your 18th until your 38 that's 20 years then you work for 20 years and for every year that you work you build up one month of nice welfare and um, so if you if you work for 20 years you can be on welfare for about two years mm -hmm. and it gets shorter if you work less long you get shorter welfare sometimes one month two months three months mm -hmm. and I call that a nice welfare because the case managers are relatively nice to you they give you a little bit of control over your life still and they say well take your time apply to jobs and come back in a month and we'll talk again yep. uh, that's the nice welfare but mm -hmm. if you if you run out of those welfare months that you build up Mm -hmm. Then you get in what we call the not so nice welfare. Yeah. And that's basically where you have the prison uh, warden, yes. last uh, the last resort. Uh, but it is unfair to, to compare it with a prison because we we say prisoners get treated better. Mm -hmm. You have an, uh, if you get convicted, you have an end to the sentence. Mm -hmm. You have an end to the punishment that you have yes. to pay back to society. But if you're on welfare, you're not, and you get. Can we get treated for three or more years, eh, comparable to getting out for murder in three or five years? Yes. If you're on welfare, you're not getting out. No. So you get, yes. be, you, you, you're yeah. treated, you're sent to jobs you don't like, uh, picking up toxic waste. Uh, uh, basically, every job you do, 
because you do it for free you don't get an income prisoners get an income mm. like it's only f like 10 cents an hour or so but they get an income yes. if you're on welfare you don't get an income no. yeah you're forced to do free labor so that's why we call it free forced yeah forced la free labor forced slavery mm -hmm. and um yes. that's that's yeah I, I think slavery is illegal in all senses and um yes. so we could take the welfare and then cry about it or we can say we're not going to take the welfare and be proud about it mm -hmm. and that's basically how we approach it yes. because if we're going to pick up the paper in the park or pour the coffee for the little old lady that means that somebody is not getting a paid job yes. doing that so yes. we don't want to steal jobs away from no. for other people because that's basically how it works yeah, and we think that it's very noble of us to try that, but it also means that we're in this situation of having a very low budget because mm -hmm. we don't want to go into that false security of the welfare because they will tell you, you have to stop the van life, you have to go do this, you have to go do that, uh, you have to go on all kinds of courses to, to learn things you already know, and the courses are given by other people on welfare who are unmotivated to give you the courses and it's, it's a very crappy uh, system yes. and that's why we chose not to be in that system mm -hmm. and some people say we're crazy for that they say well you just do that and yes. usually people who say that they never ever were one day in welfare themselves yes. and if it are people who are on welfare then usually there's a big shaming on that mm -hmm. so they will say nah it's not so bad because they won't, don't want to tell you they're crying their eyeballs out at night. Well, it and depends on the city or village, of course. Yeah, that's also true. You have uh, the big cities with a lot of uh, cultures represented, a lot of people on welfare, and they're very strict. And um, uh, in Amsterdam, they're very strict. If you go yeah. to the little village in the south where I grew up, they're probably they're very lenient, lenient. Uh, mellow. Yeah? they're very mellow it's very different if, if you go to the east of the country it can be very different mm -hmm. because every city is allowed by the law by the not the, by the national government every city is allowed to fill in the welfare policy basically they as they want as yep. they see fit so that means that a lot of power is given to a case manager and if mm. a case manager can say if you don't do what I say, if you don't jump high enough or crawl mm -hmm. deep enough, yep. I'm going to take it away. That is threatening. They threaten your existence. Yes. So we say, don't put yourself in that position to begin with. No. You don't want to give away the control over your life. If the whole world, social security, means a lie. It's a lie. Yep. There is no cake. <laughs> there is no cake. <laughs> yes. Mm. It's... um. The more people go on, on, on welfare, the, the higher the pressure is on the taxpayers, on the working uh, people yes. to pay for all that. Mm -hmm. So it's, it's basically, it's not like uh, a magic machine that just makes free money. Nope. Um, it puts pressure on the taxpayer. Mm -hmm. And it, maybe it would be different if we didn't have an education or didn't speak the language or if we were disabled. Mm -hmm. um, but we think if you we have enough skills and and um, yes. we're not the kind of people that uh, that happily give over control of our own lives. We think being in charge of your life yourself is very important mm -hmm. because you don't know how much time you have on the planet. Nope. And like I said in other videos, you That's don't true. want your final day uh, to be uh, a day that you were doing following orders basically from some stranger telling you to do some yeah uh, degrading job mm -hmm. um, you don't want to be that day to be your last day on the planet you want it to be a day that you are in doing what you like yes. yeah? and we're doing what we like mm -hmm. uh, for 18 months now and yeah that's what we love so we said mm -hmm. even though it means now uh, having to deal with less money because of that mm -hmm. it's not an option for us the same way I, 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 I maybe the same way to understand this because a lot of people uh, don't understand this but it's the same way that you don't choose to rob a bank for your money mm 
or rob a grocery store for money. There's a, there's a store here nearby. If we need money, we're not going to go rob that store to get the money. So that's a choice. Eh? We choose because it's wrong. Eh? It's wrong to steal from other people and threaten them and everything. Mm -hmm. So we're not robbing other people. We don't want to steal from other people. Mm -hmm. So that's not even an option for us to go rob a bank. It's the same if, if people say, why don't you go on welfare? Imagine they would say, why don't you rob a store? <laughs> it's wrong. That's why we don't rob the store. And welfare, the way the system works at the moment is wrong. And yes. the, the inhumane treatment is wrong. The slavery mm -hmm. aspect of it is very, uh, wrong. very questionable. Mm -hmm. uh, so that's wrong. So that's not even an option for us. So mm -hmm. um, that's important to understand because mm -hmm. we don't choose those things because they are morally wrong. Mm -hmm. And, and uh, we have to live with ourselves. And we want uh, happy times for ourselves and not mm -hmm. depressing times. Yes. So how can you create more happy times by not going into voluntarily into depressing contracts or situations mm -hmm. if uh, possible don't go on welfare because they'll make your life a living hell especially in the big cities um, yeah that little amount of money you get per month is really not worth it totally not yeah, it's a scare policy yes. and in that sense it yeah you could say this it is effective because it's it scares off intelligent people and that way you can also consider it as a, like a compliment that <laughs> you're intelligent enough yeah. enough not to yes. sign a deal with the devil yes. um it is a scare policy and that's a shame yes they try to make you dependent on an amount, that, which is ridiculous, of course. Yes, it's mm -hmm. like this, what they call this uh, this circle. They just give you enough to survive, mm -hmm. so you'll be totally dependent mm -hmm. on them and therefore yes. willing to do everything they demand of you. Yes. And because you always fear the sort of that they will say, we're going to cut you off for mm -hmm. a few months, yes. which is very hard to survive on if, you yes. have, if you're being cut off. Mm -hmm. So don't give them the power unless you absolutely have to and we are a bit lucky in that sense we don't have a mortgage to pay we don't have kids who go to school yes. where we have to care for uh, we don't have any pets that will suffer if we cannot buy pet food for them uh, so we have said we are willing to go with less because we think we can make more in the long run mm -hmm. And yes. that can be from there, but like I said, the jobs that we can get, the products mm -hmm. that we can sell, or the support yes. we can get, get from you guys. So, mm -hmm. um, so yeah, maybe because sometimes in the comments we read those kind of things that people say just go on welfare, and there's always from people who've never been on welfare for one day in their life, mm -hmm. and they just believe in the lies that the politics tell them on the television. And I yes. would tell those people turn off the TV, and uh, if you haven't experienced it don't talk about it because you're just talking bs <laughs> out of your wrong hole exactly so and that's coming from the van today yes like subscribe share support us on patreon you know it's the right thing to do mm. yes <laughs> oh wait a minute don't be clicking your next video yet <laughs> If you like our content, like, subscribe, uh, support us on Patreon. <laughs> Check out our website, artvillages.com. That was it. That was it. Oh. Awesome.